What is communication? Communication is the exchange of thoughts, messages, or information, as by speech, signals, writing, or behavior. We communicate on a daily basis. Can you think of all the ways you communicate on a daily basis? The most common types of communication used today include face-to-face, -face, internet, and cell phones. On March 10, 1876, Alexander Bell created the first telephone that transmitted speech electrically. He achieved his success by creating a working transmitter with a membrane capable of varying electronic currents and a receiver that would reproduce these variations in audible frequencies. Some of the limitations to the early telephone include one wire for both transmitting and receiving of audio, only one opening for sound, which the user listened to and then spoke into the same hole, and most obvious is lack of mobility, had to stay in one spot. On April 3, 1973, Martin Cooper, the general manager of Motorola's communication system division, made the first telephone call on a portable cellular phone. The cell phone weighed 30 ounces and had a brick-like form. Cell phones today weigh as little as 3 ounces and come in a variety of forms. They also serve many functions other than talking. Today, cell phones are being combined with electronic games, radio, TV, photography, music entertainment, internet access, email, and texting. They are used as clocks, calculators, and memos. Also, they can be used to shop, bank, deal in shares, or receive the latest sports scores. Due to technological advancements and the popularity of cell phones, many young teens now have cell phones. 40% of 12 to 14 year olds carry phones, 13% more than in early 2002, and the largest increase in phone ownership occurred in teens between 15 and 17 years old, with 75% owning cell phones. Teens use cell phones as a way to provide a sense of security and to facilitate their social interaction. One mother is reassured that her daughter has a cell phone because if something happens, her daughter will be able to call her. In addition to a sense of security, cell phones allow adolescents to coordinate their everyday life. It allows teens to know the whereabouts of their peers as well as allowing for quick mobilization. Today, there are 218 million wireless subscribers in the U.S., more than five times the number there were in June 1996. Some miscellaneous facts. In 2004, there were 1.52 billion cell phone users globally. And in the UK, over 90% of 15 to 25 year olds own a cell phone.